Iranian military officials have admitted that the country unintentionally shot down a Ukrainian airliner, killing all 176 persons on board. The statement came this morning and blamed human error for shooting down the plane. This after Iran denied its involvement in the crash for several days. Remember on the 8th of January, Ukrainian Boeing 737 aircraft crashed six minutes after taking off from Tehran's international airport. The crash came hours after Iran launched a missile strike against U.S. forces in Iraq. The crash prompted speculation that the aircraft was a casualty of crossfire. My colleague Abhishek Bhalla is now joining me live on this story. Abhishek, this is extremely shocking, a very, very serious international incident. After denying for several days, Iran now finally admitting that it may have unintentionally shot down a Ukrainian commercial airliner. Well, it will uh, certainly have uh, international ramifications. There were Canadians, there were Iranians on board, uh, and, more than 170 passengers. And follow me, this is classic case of fog of war. You know, uh, the uh, incidents that had taken place before, uh, uh, an Iranian general was killed. Uh, this was followed by a retaliatory attack by Iran on two military bases. And uh, it's still not clear, you know, uh, how it was brought down, whether these were air defense guns, what kind of missiles were used uh, by the Iranian forces. But the fact that they have confessed and admitted to uh, a human error, that means uh, that they had activated all their possible military assets uh, to uh, take down any kind of uh, air uh, assault uh, from the U.S. side and they were perhaps expecting it and in the fog of uh, war uh, something like this uh, has happened. Very, very shocking there. Abhishek, uh, how is the international community going to react to this? You did say that it will have international ramifications but this is a classic case of what the escalation of tensions in the region has done 176 innocent persons have died because of the escalation of tensions between the united states and iran well uh, it was the canadian prime minister who uh, yesterday in fact said that they have uh, uh, accurate intelligence that it was uh, the iranian forces that brought down the fact that he was speaking was because uh, there were several Canadians on board, uh, but uh, Iran did not uh, accept this. And in fact, uh, Iran should have ideally, you know, come out and said that it uh, was uh, brought down by mistake in the fog of war. Uh, in fact, what was told earlier was that the plane crashed due to a technical failure. Now, after the Canadian prime minister spoke about it, that's when it's, it's still taken about 24 hours uh, for Iran to react and say that... Uh, uh, it was the Iran, uh, Iranian forces that brought down uh, this uh, commercial uh, airplane. Uh, now it remains to be seen whether this will add to the escalations. Uh, but definitely, you know, it will uh, continue. Uh, the, the atmosphere of hostile, of hostility uh, will continue, even though Iran and U.S. have, uh, you know, sort of uh, given indications that they are willing to de-escalate. Uh, but uh, a commercial plane being hit by military forces will obviously have a long-term impact on the uh, hostilities in the region. Right. Abhishek, thank you so much for putting things into perspective for us.